Hey, welcome back to my subs, and welcome to anybody that may be new to my channel. I'm Brandon Nagley. Today is August 27th, 2020. Welcome again, anybody that may be new to my new to my channel. I show the signs in the heavens at Yeshua, in Hebrew name, also known as Jesus Christ in English, or Jesus Christos in Greek. He has many names. Simply Jesus in English, the signs that Jesus warned in, that would be seen in the heavens. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's really messed up right now. The signs that Jesus said he warned about in the heavens that would be seen before his coming that would make men's hearts fail them from fear for the expectation of those things to come to pass upon the earth spoken in Luke 21 by Jesus. Those signs specifically from the Planet X system, Nemesis, Biblical Worm, one of Revelation 8, which is Planet X, or the Red Dragon, Revelation 12, which is Planet X, as ancient Chinese also called Planet X. The Red Dragon, um, just as NASA calls it, the Planet Nine system or Planet Number Nine. To newcomers, please read the notes below my video or, or in my pinned comment section to understand this system that the Planet X system that God will use to judge and renew the Earth and the heavens. And the only only way to escape that judgment when Christ comes and raptures up His church, or if you just happen to pass away before the rapture of the church. Um, Jesus Christ is the only way to escape that. As spoken in Revelation 3.10, the most well-known pre-tribulation rapture verse of the whole Bible. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Revelation 12.5, another pre-tribulation rapture verse. 1 Thessalonians 4. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 51 and onward. John 14.3 are all rapture scriptures. What I'm showing you guys here really quick are those signs in the heavens that I show. You know, that Christ warned about. What you're looking at here is Stereo Ahead, H12. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing two parts, all right, for this right now. So as you guys see, all right, you see this. Sorry, I'm, if it's shaky, my apologies. You know, I get a lot of trolls that come on here and say, oh, your phone's too shaky and so on. But yet I don't see these people putting out inter any information themselves. They just come to troll, you know, or out of, out of their fears for the signs that Christ warned. They want to mock and scoff. Christ talked about those people. He said there'd be... Mockers and scoffers in the last days that would, you know, say, where's the promise of your Lord's coming for things are still the same since your fathers fell asleep. But as biblical scripture says, for this they are willingly, ig ig willingly ignorant of that one day with the Lord is as a thousand years and as a thousand years is one day. And the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering, meaning being patient with us all, not willing that any should perish, meaning, meaning be separated from God but that but that all should come to repentance spoken in 2nd Peter chapter 3 um, verse 9 in 2nd Peter chapter 3 so anyways what you're looking at here um, this is stereo ahead h12 okay over to the far left you cannot see the Sun but that's where the Sun is it's shooting out stuff right there this line is connected to one of our planets I believe that's Venus notice this, this other object right there passing by Venus and um, Scott Sione on Planet X News Channel actually shows, sorry about that, actually shows the two objects um, connect by like a plasma t type of thing. But it's, you know, it's not none of our planets that's passing by Venus. Again, there it is right there. Um, as you can see it, it's passing right by Venus. They do a little connection and then it turns off. That date is from... August 23rd again as you see it the object comes from the Sun's way and passes by Venus right there there it is again hold on so I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back with another clip guys I'll be right back <laughs> all right guys this is part two sorry about that this is from another um, type of sun sun footage this black thing right here is called the occulter okay it goes it goes over the sun so you can see the flares and CMEs coronal mass ejections that happen around the sun this is from today's date August 27th what you're what you're gonna see here um, you're about to see the sun have a big CME over here um, which I got pictures and it, it, it looks like there's planet X system bodies that are actually over here here at least one or more and then this side, because of the Planet X system objects, they perturb the sun. They connect with the sun mag, you know, magnetically and by plasma, which in return causes the sun to blast off coronal, coronal mass ejections and 
discharges and flares, which the Earth has been getting pounded with lots of solar radiation and Planet X system, you know, you know, different Planet X system bodies have been shooting off energy waves at Earth that are full of radiation just, just like the sun is. And that energy is soaking up into the Earth, building up pressure in the Earth. That's why the, qua the Earth is having so many quakes. As Jesus Yeshua said, there'd be quakes in divers or various places before his coming. So enough of my talk. I'm going to play this for you guys. You're going to see the CME blast off over here and one over here. Hold on, guys. Um, boom. See if I get it. Yep. There's the first one. Hold on. Let me get it to go faster for you guys. There's the first CME right there, guys. Boom. And look at the left side. Boom. There's another hit right there. One more time for you guys. Trying to keep this video short. Um, newcomers, read below the video. You know, John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world, he gave us his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him and Jesus Jesus should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father God but by me. There's a lot of people coming to my channel to attack it, to try to silence it. God's got me here for a reason, you know, to warn you all what's coming. The same things that I've seen in Christ, seen from Christ in multiple dreams and a few visions. And seeing Christ personally face to face, as Rev Revelation chapter 1 states, his face is as the countenance of the sun. His face literally shines like the sun, as Revelation chapter 1 states, just as people see him in death by the millions and describe the same thing. It's time to wake up, guys. Judgment is imminent things coming to this planet a permanent second lockdown coming for all the world Glob globally worldwide because of planet x system debris coming in and because of their plan for the antichrist to return and take power um lots of chaos are going to happen is going to happen in america when the people don't get who they want presidentially um there's a lot coming guys for newcomers, it just takes faith. Romans 10, 13 states, For whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It just takes faith. I'm going to leave the salvation prayer under, uh, under my video. It's not the prayer itself that saves you. It's simply calling on Christ to save you. Believing he died on the cross for your sins. Believing he is God in the flesh. As Christ said many times, Me and my Father are one. If you would have known me, you would, you would have known my Father God also. you got to know Christ came... With, without sin, he was the spotless lamb of God, as the Bible calls him. And he's the king of kings, lord of lords. He's God's only begotten son, as John 3, 16 states. Um, he died on the cross for all mankind since he was buried and rose again the third day. That whoever calls on his name in faith is willing to turn away from sin, willing to follow Christ, loving another and forgiving another as God commanded. Because God's love and forgiveness, you'll be saved. Read below the video, guys. God bless. There's a lot, a lot of stuff coming. A lot. Planet X system debris coming in. Quakes are getting bigger. Volcanoes are blowing off. Time soon, guys. It's time for repentance, turning from sin, homosexuality, drugs, drinking, um, smoking weed. And many want to use that as a crutch. You know, just they like to use that as a crutch. I know. You know, I've been there. I've done a year in prison for drugs in my past and drugs selling and dealing and use in my past. So I understand all that. You know, now, now's the time to turn to Christ, to turn away from sins and turn to God. Love another and forgive another as God's love and forgiveness, guys. God bless. And by the way, did you see that? It looks like also a meteor came popping from down here, um, going up. Anyways, guys, God bless. Good night.